Welcome to Ellesmere, one of the most notorious speed traps in Delaware. Uh, this is going to be a tour of some of the uh, speed traps that you need to be most aware of when you drive through my town. Uh, the speed limit here is 35 miles an hour typically, and it is 25 miles in places. So definitely go 35, sometimes go slower. Okay, I hope you enjoy this little video. So this is the rail bridge over the BNO Railroad that here that passes through uh, Ellesmere. The speed limit on this bridge is 25 miles an hour, and I have seen them uh, give tickets for it. Just to pass the speed limit, past the bridge rather, the speed limit raises up to 35, and it uh, continues at 35 miles an hour up and down State Route 100, or uh, Old DuPont. The speed trap that they'll get you for going too fast over this bridge is right below that sign. Uh, the police officers will wait at the intersection of Old DuPont and New Road, there where that white car is pulling out, and get you to crest the bridge here. And if you're going 40, expect to get stopped. This is the other major speed trap on Delaware Route 100 at the cor corner of Boulevard Road here and Old DuPont. Police officers will wait underneath this tree here on this frontage road, sighting down Old DuPont. And if you round the corner up there at the, at the uh, cemetery going too fast, they will get you. Um, the speed limit here along this road is not 20 miles an hour. That is the speed limit of the frontage road. The speed limit out there is 35, though people do go way faster than that. They also like to uh, hang out by the stop sign and where that red car just pulled out of at this lovely little median planter. Uh, but this speed trap is mostly uh, about getting cars that are coming southbound on Old DuPont Road, State Route 100, who are going faster than the speed limit of 35 miles an hour. Definitely, if you're heading southbound out of Wilmington through Ellesmere on Old DuPont, you need to remember to go the speed limit. Very important. So this is a better look at the New Road, Old DuPont um, speed trap area. Cops like to hang out right there and uh, they sight down this road and catch you coming over that hill, uh, not going that speed. Uh, there is a sign that's usually covered by trees right about there, uh, so you won't see it. But it is 25 miles here, and if they do give you a ticket, they will come out and cut those trees before they show up in court, just to let you know. So this is Kirkwood Highway, and most of the tickets I see given out here in Kirkwood Highway are generally handed out headed westbound, which is the direction that I'm walking currently. There are quite a few little streets, like Western up here ahead, and I forget the other one's names, but maybe every quarter of a mile 
there is a little street coming on to Kirkwood. And the police like to sit at each of these streets. And believe me, they are using their radars. So the speed limit here along Kirkwood is 35 miles an hour. So you definitely want to go 35 miles an hour down this road. I see him hanging out here at Midway Muffler all the time, which is a great place to get muffle work done on your car. Very reasonable priced and very, very quick. Uh, I would show up in my old car and uh, at lunchtime, 30 minutes, he would uh, replace a muffler. Really, I needed new engine mounts, and he was very happy. After the first time, he's like, you need new engine mounts. Second time, he's like, you really need new engine mounts. Throwing away money here. Then I got a new car. USA Gas. Uh, great price. Usually within a penny or two of BJ's Gas. Which is further down. But, uh, know that all of these little streets like Ohio and Western are definitely also used as speed traps, though not as frequently as the one at New and Old DuPont or Boulevard and Old DuPont. Those are definitely more often uh, those have police officers stationed at them than any of these little roads on Kirkwood. Ellesmere PD also uses many unmarked cars. They have unmarked Dodge Chargers. They have just barely marked Ford Explorers. And they also have so I definitely want to talk about this this is one of the most important speed traps here this is uh, right behind uh, old DuPont and new so this is definitely the second most important um, <clears throat> speed trap here in Ellesmere. Uh, this speed trap is the corner of Kirkwood and Sanders, and it is almost exclusively used on uh, vehicles headed west. Um, there are two parts of the speed trap. People come around this corner, and uh, they're going above 35 miles an hour, and uh, the police officers who are hanging out at the Ellesmere Fire Company uh, will ticket you. Um, and the other thing that this uh, speed trap is used for is uh, making right turns on red, which uh, are against the rules right here at Sanders. Uh, there are, those are pretty well signed, but uh, right on red is sort of the de facto rule here in Delaware. And if it isn't posted, no right on red, and it generally is okay. So uh, people often get caught here uh, going faster than the 35 mile an hour speed limit and also making legal right turns on reds. This is one of the unmarked police cars of Ellesmere PD. And they are hanging out in the preferred speed trap spot.
So, uh, here we are at the most important speed trap, or the second most important. So here we are at uh, the second most important speed trap in uh, Ellesmere with a speed trap officer. Uh, here at the Ellesmere Friar House, uh, the Ellesmere PD likes to hang out and monitor the speeds of people coming down Kirkwood Highway uh, headed uh, westbound. There is the intersection that I showed you from the opposing side. So when you're making that corner, be sure to be going 35 miles an hour. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little um, trip around Ellesmere, seeing some of the speed traps here. And um, I hope that you use it to uh, get less speeding tickets in Ellesmere. Though if you do get a speeding ticket, uh, it definitely is worth it to contest it. Um, people don't often go to their speeding ticket uh, trials, uh, and police officers even less so. Have a great day.